A while back, I found a tutorial showing how to make auroras as 2D textures in Photoshop, and I realized that Blender has the same capabilities, but can go a dimension further. So let's make some auroras in Blender. First, scene settings. We will use Eevee for quicker response times. In the volumetrics panel, set the end distance to a higher value. Volumes won't render if you're zoomed out too far. Scale the starter cube into a rectangular box and apply the scale with Control A. This is one of the easiest modeling tutorials you can find. But we still got a ways to go, so hop on over into the shading workspace. If you have the Node Wrangler add-on enabled, you can use Shift S to change the principled surface into a principled volume node. Just make sure it goes into the volume output. Let the gradient madness begin. Add a gradient texture and plug the color into a color ramp. You'll be using these a lot. Using Ctrl T with the gradient texture selected, you can quickly add your texture coordinate and mapping nodes. Plug the color ramp color into the volume emission color. Our mapping node type should be set to texture, and also turn up the emission strength in the volume node. The planar light looks bad, so let's fix that. Scene settings. Volume panel. Adjust the tile size and samples to something your computer can handle. Tile size of 8 and 256 samples worked for good for me. Now when we adjust the color ramp, the gradient looks cleaner. Black will render transparent and white will shine with color. Side note, it may be helpful to label which color ramp affects which gradient. Duplicate the gradient and reverse it. You can use the same mapping as the original. Combine the two gradients with a mix RGB node. Set blend mode to multiply and factor to 1. Then plug the mix node into the volume emission. Repeat this process for the other two axes until you have a nice glowing prism inside your box. But leave the top a little soft. Needs some breaks though, so I added another texture mapping and coordinate node. Let's get a noise texture. Plug it into another color ramp, then multiply the color ramp into the other gradients. Adjust the noise scale to something around 25 and tweak your other settings to taste. Set the Z mapping scale to a high value and adjust the X and Y slightly as well. Then adjust the color ramp until you get some nice spikes. Nice! Let's add some color! Another mapping node. Another color ramp, a gradient texture, mix it in. Might I suggest reds, greens, and blues as starting points. I'm really liking this. Let's make it wave. Add keyframes to your XYZ location mappings. You can also add them to the noise scale, distortion, and detail if you want. Now I'm going to open the graph editor because I'm lazy and I don't want to add many keyframes. So let's just have Blender do it for me. Select the node with keyframes and press N in the graph editor to bring up a side panel. Click the modifiers tab. Add some noise. Adjust the scale, strength, phase, and maybe offset until you get something a little more natural. And look at that! You got yourself a virtual natural light show. 